This is it, man! They so... say that our cause is false, and that we are nothing more than thieves, thugs, and murderers. But no! We are farmers! We are craft... Take my city without raising my own sword. Protect huh? the Yarl with your lives! <laughs> <laughs> enough! Uh, that's enough. Uh, I surrender. I surrender. Peace! Everyone stand down. That's an order. Stand down! Outroof! Vignar Greymane. Your family was noticeably absent from the walls. Now I know why. Wouldn't a dagger in the back have sufficed? You think this is personal? The Empire has no place in Skyrim. Not anymore. And you? You have no place in Whiterun anymore! Convenient position to hold now. But mark my words, old man. In the days to come, Ulfric will spread his rebellion thin. And what then? We need the Empire as much as it needs us. We Nords are the Empire. Our blood builds it. Our blood sustains it. You of all people oh, should know that. What happened? If this was my Empire, I'd be able to worship whoever I damn yes, well talk please. amongst the gods that you are. You wish to see an empire war. without Talos? With such a thing. Without its soul? Sure, it's not possible. We should be fighting those witch elves, not bending knee to them. The emperor is nothing more than a puppet of the Thalmor. Skyrim needs a high king who will fight for her, and Whiterun needs a jarl who will do the same. Tell me, Vignar. Was all this worth it? How many of those corpses lining our streets wear the faces of men who once called you friend? What about their families? Enough! Both of you! There is a burning city out there that needs a government! He's right. Galmar, come. Let us restore order. This isn't over. You hear me, you old fool? This isn't over! And you, a storm cloak. I thought better of you. You'll all come to regret this day. Get over to Vindhelm. Tell Ulfric of our victory here. Get over to Vindhelm. Tell Ulfric of our victory here. I mostly do. <laughs> We've driven the Imperials out of Whiterun. 
This is good. Very good. We now control the center. It's a powerful position. One I aim to keep. We'll call you Ice Veins now. For the thick blood of our land has seeped into your heart. Here, take this. It's an Imperial Officer's sword. A fitting weapon to use against our enemy. I suspect you'll be of greater use to us with greater freedom. So you're free to engage the Imperials as you see fit. But I also want you to find our hidden camp in Falkreath. Galmar will have special tasks for you, and will need you when we liberate the capital. You'll be doing whatever Galmar tells you to do, and causing as much mayhem as possible for the Empire and any Jarl who supports them. Talos guide you.
So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the Voice of the Sky, and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. We are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. You are not the first. There have been many of the Dragonblood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only Dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. You have shown that you are Dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. You learn a new word like a master. You truly do have the gift. Your training proceeds well. Dragonborn. No doubt, the appearance of a Dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the Dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Your unrelenting force shout 
to strike the target. They appear. Perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. Approach Master Bori and he will gift you his knowledge of wood. Bori. Rex! Wolf! Now, your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Quick mastery of a new Thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? No, indeed not. 
but beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. <laughs> No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Windkoller. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. The Dragonborn is an exception to all the rules. The Dragon Blood itself is a gift of the gods. If we accept one gift, how can we deny the other? As Dragonborn, you have received the ability to shout directly from Akatosh. We therefore seek to guide you on the proper use of your gift, which transcends the restrictions which bind other mortals. Wind, guide you. Newgrad. They have some of our boys locked up there, but with a little luck, we can turn that to our advantage. I've sent some men to scout out the area. Meet them. See if you can't find a way to slip in, free our men, and take over the fort. They'll never suspect an attack from the inside. This won't be easy, but that's why I'm sending you. You got the grit to get this done? Nine. Things about Ulfric I don't like, but he's right about this war and about Skyrim's future. Next Imperial I see is dead. 
ever wonder if maybe we should call a truce with the Imperials and join forces for just Dallas a little while to, to take care of some of these dragons? <laughs> Damn well, hell well. Imperials. Look who it is. How have you been? Good to hear. I need this to go well. This is my first real command since they promoted me after Whiterun. You know, some nights when I close my eyes, I see the battle stretched out before me, like I'm still there. Do the men you've killed haunt you? Mine do. That's what I keep telling myself. But never mind all that. We've got a job to do, don't we? We found a cave under the lake. With luck, it'll lead into the prison. I need you to sneak in there and free our men, killing anyone inside as you go. Once you've rescued the prisoners, head out to the courtyard. We'll stand guard out here, and rush in as soon as we hear fighting. Should be fun. Talos preserve you. We'll show those faithless dogs who this land belongs to. from there or else.
great work. Get back and report our success. I'll stay here and clean up the mess. Glad you were here. Couldn't have done it without you. What's the plan? I'm proud we liberated Falkreath from the Empire. In many ways, it's the heart and soul of Skyrim, not to mention its rather strategic position. Some brothers have taken to calling you Bonebreaker. Evidence of your ferocity and determination, a fitting name. So we shall all call you thus. The war demands so much from us. And we give all we have to it and to the people. But I've kept a little something to offer you in appreciation. Please take this on behalf of all the brothers and sisters. And I need capable and loyal warriors close at hand. So I'd like to offer you a home in Wenhelm. Speak with my steward, who'll make the arrangements. Get over to our camp in the Reach. They need every able body they can muster. Keep your brother, he'll keep you.